you doing? How am I doing? I'm doing fine. <laughs> if I could breathe, I'd feel a little better. <laughs> well, breathe. It's not that easy. You look so beautiful. Thanks. How you doing? Doing good. I feel real good. Because I know that you love me as much as I love you. You know something? If we live to be a hundred, it's not going to be enough time to spend with you. All's quiet on the Western Front. Everybody is gone. You about finished back here? Um, no, not really, not yet. But why don't you go ahead and go? I'll, I'll lock up. Oh, thanks, Dix. You are a gem. I love early closings. Thanks a lot. <laughs> you bet. See you tomorrow. Madonna. Back here. Crying out loud, Oh, Mama. I'm sorry. Did I scare you? Yeah, sorry. yeah. Sorry, Ethel just told me everybody went home. Oh, yeah. Well, I was on my way, and then I got to working on the book. So oh. I just thought I'd stay here and meet my husband downtown That's for dinner. Nice. Can I give you a hand here? Yeah. Thank, thank you. Boy. Dixie, um, Trevor told me that uh, Billy Clyde called you. Yeah. Well, I don't want you worrying about him. You understand? I'm not, not really. Good, because you have no reason to worry. Wait a minute, what is this? I thought you're the one who kept telling me how horrible he was. I thought I was supposed to be scared of him. Well, you were, and I was. But not anymore. No. Do you mind my asking why not? I sure don't. I got enough goods on Billy Clyde Tuggle to send him away for a long time. And if he ever dares to show his face in this town again, that is exactly what I'm going to do. So, see, I did not go to that garage to kill myself. I went to do away with Billy Clyde. Except, when the time came, I, I just couldn't force myself to do it. Well, thank heaven for that. Right. Only the worm turned and he tried to kill me. And he almost succeeded. Well, if you, if you realize that Chuck hadn't found you, you would Please, I don't, I don't want to think about it. And then when he went and told Trevor. I had to. I couldn't take any more chances. You were actually willing to risk your own freedom? To put Billy Clyde behind bars? I'd do it again like that. He has hurt Emily Ann enough. She hasn't, you know, heard from him. He hasn't called her. No, 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 no. But, see, that's the thing. Now that he's contacted you, I can't help wondering if maybe she's next. Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry about that. I mean, I'm sure he's, he's just trying to get on with his own life now. Yeah, I wish I could be sure about that. You don't think he'd risk coming back here? I've learned one thing about Billy Clyde. You gotta expect what you don't expect. This is great, Donnie. You're really making me nervous. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, you have done everything you could, Dixie. The, uh, the Trevor putting that tap on the phone at Myrtle's, that was a real smart thing. Because, see, now, if he tries to contact you again, they will find out where he is and they'll nab him. <laughs> well, looks like we finished. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, thanks for helping. No problem. So, got any plans tonight? Yeah, I'm going out with Trevor. Oh, that's... Yeah. So, actually, I've really got to get going because i got to go pick up the baby at Ruth's and I'm dropping her off to spend the night at uh, Adam and Natalie's. Adam and Natalie's. Well, I'm sure they'll all have a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, do you mind if I uh, tag along as far as Ruth's? No, of course not. Okay, good, because I want to talk to her about a get-together I want to have for Emmy and Joey. I'll oh, awesome. great, okay. I'll just walk up. Mark 
my words, Missy Donabeck Tyler. That'd be the last time you mess up my life. If you ever try to come twist me and my Dixie bride, I swear I shall turn you into a dog food sandwich. Well, well, well. Mom told me you might stop by to uh, pick up the baby. Yes. Is he upstairs? Yeah, he's upstairs napping. Would you like me to get him? No, thank you. I think I can wait a minute. Well, why don't you sit down and make yourself comfortable? Well, thank you. I will. Hi. I came by to see your mother, Tad. Uh, dish, uh, kitchen, right? Thank you. You receive your copies of the divorce papers? I don't want to talk and about it. Crying shame, too. That's all I got to say. Oh, hello. Oh. Hi, Ruth said you wanted these, honey. You know, those divorce papers never should have gone through. You know that as well as I do. Oh, look, look. I really don't want to What's that? What in the... Mama's plants, a dog must have knocked it over. A dog? What dog? There aren't any dogs around Second here. Second thought, maybe your voice did it. Are you insinuating that my voice is shrill? No, I'm insinuating your voice could shatter terracotta. You just love to hurt me. No, Mama, I'm trying mom. to prove a point. What point is that, Preacher? But you wanted me to butt out of your life, right? Yeah. Then do I me a favor like and butt to... out of mine, okay? Well, I, I, look, I, I, I just. I just feel so bad about what happened mm. between the two of you. That's all. Can I help it if I love I'm you? I'm not going to win this one, Emma. Just tell me right now. now when no you chance. bring a child into the world, all you want is for them to be healthy and happy. And now, hounded, you... right? Forget it. I'm out of here. Dixie, I'll see you later. Bye, Ted. And don't forget your sweaters. Oh, well, I guess I better get upstairs before Junior doesn't sleep through half the night Oh, again. honey, honey, Donna told me that you were going to leave him over at where to sleep with Natalie and Adam tonight. Yes, that's house. what I'm going to do, and if you have a problem with that, you can just leave it no, in no, your No, 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 I have no problem. I was just wondering if maybe you could, uh, you know, drop me by the uh, Cortland Manor on your way to Chandler Place. Well, yeah, of course I can do that. Oh, great, great. That'll give me a chance to kind of, uh, you know, have a nice visit with my grandson and uh, have a talk with you, too. Just on a second. What's that? About this divorce. I don't want to hear one word about it. You oh, understand? Now, it is a dead Dixie. issue, okay? If you, if you want to ride, you can you can just shut up or else you can find your own way there. All right. All right, my goodness. Now, Master Beckham. She told me. Oh. Ain't that bride of mine ever going to find herself alone? Tim, what do you say? Would you like me to take him for you? No, I've got, if you just grab his bag in there, it's got all his favorite toys and the clothes and all that stuff. Certainly, we're looking forward to having him with us. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry, though. I'm already late for a date. license, please. I, I wasn't was speeding or anything, was I? No. Registration. Oh, right. Here. Why'd you stop me then, Oscar? Oh, <laughs> Your left tail light is out. 
It is. Yeah, it creates a hazard for the other drivers. Oh, well, I didn't know that at all. I mean, I, I promise I'll get that fixed first thing tomorrow morning. I have your word on that? Absolutely. Okay, you can go. Great, thank you so much. Just be careful tonight, all right? <laughs> I will, I will. Okay. Where are they when you really need them?